Hello guys and welcome back for another mission guide, Gate of Desolation today. Did you know that this is the only mission where you must play as a worm? I just realized this now. Anyway, Zed must come with us and our main task is to defeat Queen Aijundu and earn her respect to be able to cross the sulfurous wastes. Finally, the bonus, save the young Junandus. Mesmer's point of view, my usual team build, nothing special here, let's do this. Upon entering we find ourselves in the desert, run straight for some time and keep to west until you see the worm spore. Even if you have already done this mission, the worm thing will not work for you unless you defeat all the undeads, including several bosses and the queen herself. To maximize safety I flagged my heroes like this, I've put my mesmer's allies front healers back. If you want you can simply camp around the worm spore and play the first few minutes like that. But I believe some less experienced players will watch this video too, so I prefer the longer but safer method instead. I will force my heroes to stand still and lure with the bow. This will take a bit longer than pressing C and space by watching a series, but it is what it is. There are quite many different groups, by the way, sometimes only dervishes with the vow of silence, and those are a bit annoying to farm, sometimes only warriors and paragons, but usually only two or three at a time, so they are a bit outnumbered. Think of those uh, huge groups in Joko's domain vanquish for comparison, three or four times bigger groups than here, so we have an easy time. I will speed up this part till uh, when the queen comes the second time. So Queen Aijundu will come twice and after her second visit you also get a Mesmer and an Acrobos to fight with. If you have flagged your heroes like I did, you can deal with only the Queen first and defeat the bosses after. The Queen has monster skills, uh, she might be strong in one versus one fight, but against 8 players she has no chance. Alright, let's get the bosses now and we can use the Wormspur finally. One note regarding the spore, if some of your heroes are not in range, he or she might not get the worm form. In this case you can either leave the worm with the 8 skill or click on the spore thingy again. As we move forward and clear fools with the worms, let me give you a few use, uh, useful hints. Fun fact, the worms or the Jonandus have to swallow us. This is how we can travel through the sulfurous area. Otherwise, if you would simply enter this yellow bright thing, you would get a message to go back quick quickly or you will die. There are ways to travel through this uh, using the edges, but this might be another read at another time. So let's talk a bit about the worm builds. The first three skills are attacking skills, the fourth is an elite skill called the Janandu Siege. If you are doing this mission for the first time, this will look like uh, the unknown Janandu ability and you will get this skill later as you progress in the campaign. The fifth skill is the fastest increased movement speed uh, skill in the whole game. It gives you 66% faster movement speed for 10 seconds. And the sixth one uh, requires a fresh corpse to use and you get some additional damage or interrupt skill. And the Jonandu Whale is our best self here but only works if there are no enemies in your shot. And finally if you want to leave the Jonandu use the 8th skill. I think the best combination is the Jonandu Tunnel and the Jonandu Bite. It is an auto knockdown and you deal nice damage on a single target and it can heal the worm for 500. Holy damage is also doubled if you wear a weapon which deals holy damage. So you might consider using them if you vanquish here. Uh, since there are many undeads in desolation areas. Worms have less armor against both physical and elemental damage, but the 3000 HP compensates somewhat for that. Energy is usually not the problem only if you want to spam the blinding breast skill, but this comes occasionally from the 6th from the skill. Anyway, once you reach the regular soil, worms will lose their ability to travel through, but I guess everyone is happy because heroes are stronger anyway.
If you follow the wiki map, you will see this direction, but I hate relying on John Andrews, so I will stick to my standard team instead, and I only say this to not be surprised when you compare my map to the wiki map. After some Margonai groups we reach the first Junandu, and one very important thing about them, they can die from area attacks, so you must pay attention to the enemy groups around them. If they die after you have saved them, that's okay, but you must save them to get credit for the bonus. Okay, one saved, two left. Let's go on and kill a few more Margonites, so that these won't drop gemstones, but they are in the way, so we must clear them out. The second young Jonandu is close, pay attention to the enemy group, you can pull them away uh, from the small guy with the longbow or flatbow. Two down, one left, and now let's get swallowed by the worms again. I was hesitating here a bit to run past them or not, I guess some of my heroes would have died, so I'm gonna do the classic hack and slash now. And I suggest you guys focus on sandstorm cracks first, they are stronger than the shambling mesas, or more dangerous. Sandstorm hits hard and you know heroes are dumb in this aspect, they stand still when they see AoE spells. Now I will stay quiet for some time, simply keep north till you see another worms pool and the last Jonandu Yang. Perfect spawn, the young is in safety, we can't kill it accidentally with the AOA. Simply destroy the Margonites and the bonus is completed. By the way, I used to run back in this part and continue the mission, but after 17 years I've learned something new. There is a shortcut here, you can now flag your heroes or let them follow you, it doesn't really matter, since there are no enemies to kill, just some cardio training. And I have finished this mission in 18 minutes, pretty long, but I've chosen the slow approach in the beginning. I guess you can save a few minutes if you play more directly. So guys, we saved the Janandu Youngs, the Queen is most pleased, Palavayoko as well, Zed as smelly as ever, another mission in the bag, good luck and have fun.